The gate 19 reaches to hit the gate 49 and it connects the root center to the emotional solar plexus. It is a channel that sometimes, uh, well, it is a channel where there's a potential for intimacy and connection. It is a place where it's a tribal circuit or a tri tribal channel. The uh, It's a channel that because it's tribal has a lot to do with relationship energy. And it is a place where that 19 is sort of aware, it's very sensitive, it's emotionally receptive, it's reading the emotional weather. And in response to reading the emotional weather, it's oftentimes helping or jumping ahead to help meet other people's emotional needs or in the shadow, sometimes the 19 can be very needy, emotionally needy. It points to the gate 49, which is actually the gate of the catalyst in quantum human design. Sometimes in slang, we refer to the gate 49 as the divorce gate. And the way this works is that if the rules of a relationship are violated in any way, and you have this channel in a relationship composite, or you have this channel in your own chart, or you have the gate 49 in your chart, or the gate 19 in your chart, we say that if those rules get broken, there's a line that's drawn in the sand, and there's really never any going back. So. Um, sometimes if the rules of the relationship get broken, like let's say if your partner cheats, worst case scenario, potentially someone with the gate 49 might really be like, that's it, I'm done. And there's no, it's like stick a fork in it. There's no going back. So um, that can be an aspect of it. Certainly in a family setting, that can create a lot, potentially in the shadow, it can create a lot of drama, a lot of neediness, a lot of people trying to regulate what are the rules of engagement in the family. Um, it definitely, if I, if a lot of people in your family have this, it definitely would, you know, sort of point towards this is a family that really needs to be very careful in how they express their feelings so that they don't hurt each other because it can be experienced in a very intense, very sensitive kind of a way. If you have kids with this channel, I always say, if you have a kid with this gate or these chan this channel, it's a child that you really need to be super mindful of how you address discipline with a child like this. Because first of all, you never want to, you, know, you never want to spank any child. I am, there's just good, you know, gobs and gods of research that say do not spank children. It doesn't work and it has serious long-term sequela. Okay, so we're not going to spank children. But if you have a kid that has this, you also want to watch your tone of voice and even watch your angry face because they will be so dialed into the fact that they're you're upset with them. You won't really have to power on with discipline that strongly. It's also because it's not just phys, it's not just emotionally sensitive. People with this gate can also be uh, physically sensitive. So again, I say this because I have a lot of kids that uh, my own biological kids that have this in their charts used to drive me crazy that the things like the seams in their socks would bother them and we'd have to go get seamless socks. Or I had one daughter in particular that the tags on shirts would bother her and we had to go buy used clothing at the secondhand store because they would be soft enough and it wouldn't scratch her because she didn't like scratchy fabrics. Um, and then as she got older, she was like, I don't want to wear used clothes because I can feel people's energy on it. You know, so there was no win on that. If you change the brand of oatmeal, they'll be like, ew, what's wrong with the oatmeal? Right. So there can be that aspect of it as well. This is a place where we connect to mammalian circuitry. So oftentimes you'll see people with this energy who really don't like to eat meat. There's actually vegetarianism and veganism is rooted in this channel. And oftentimes it's just because they can feel and sense the animal energy so deeply because they are so empathic that they can really experience that. And certainly I would say a gift of this gate, in particular, the gate 19 in particular, um, is that sometimes people with this gate can be animal communicators or animal empaths.